Greetings. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to listen to this recorded webinar about our SNAP ENT program for Employment Social Enterprises. My name is Greg Erickson, Associate Director at REDF. REDF, along with our partners at Seattle Jobs Initiative and Center for Employment Opportunities, has created a new innovative program to support employment social enterprises in becoming SNAP ENT third party partners. A little bit more about our team Seattle Jobs Initiative is a recognized national expert on SNAP ENT, and the team brings a wealth of experience helping states, counties, and individual workforce providers to develop, operate, and grow high quality SNAP ENT programs. The Center for Employment Opportunities is a national nonprofit and also an employment social enterprise, providing immediate comprehensive employment services to individuals recently released from incarceration. CEO is a current ENT partner in 22 sites in 10 states and is expanding. REDF is a pioneering venture philanthropy that leads a national movement of employment social enterprises. REDF is the only philanthropy in the United States that invests exclusively in social enterprises focused on employment. So I wanna to talk to you next about our SNAP ENT program and some of our objectives. <clears throat> our SNAP ENT capacity building program will offer a customized training and technical assistance, peer learning and mentoring designed to increase employment social enterprise expertise and knowledge of the SNAP ENT program throughout the country and offer skill-based employer-driven services. The partnership will offer these core program activities. First, we're gonna offer a SNAP ENT webinar series to provide policy and programmatic fundamentals to Redis network of over 400 social enterprises across the country. Next, we will, we will begin to build and have started building a, a SNAP ENT resource platform which will be a repository for ENT best practices, trainings, and materials, which can be accessed by over our network of um, REDF workshop members, and it will be also free to the community. And finally, we'll be creating a SNAP ENT expansion cohort, which will offer customized, uh, customized training, technical assistance, and peer mentorship for a cohort of 40 participating ESEs. 20 each year. In addition to these great services and activities that we're planning on providing, the other unique aspect is our target focus, which is employment social enterprises. And we strongly believe that employment social enterprises are well aligned with the SNAP ENT third party model based on some of the following characteristics. First, employment social enterprises serve clients that are low income, current SNAP recipients, or likely eligible for SNAP. Many social enterprises generate eligible non-federal non funds through both employment social enterprise revenues and support from state and local governments, foundations, and philanthropy. Social enterprises offer a combination of the following employment services, including job search, job readiness training, work experience, vocational training, case management, and job retention. They also offer the administrative capacity to manage a federally funded program. So what is an employment social enterprise, also known as an ESE? ESEs are mission-driven revenue generating businesses that provide paying transitional jobs and support services to help people stabilize their lives, develop a work history and build skills and confidence. When employees are ready, ESEs help them find competitive employment. <clears throat> because ESEs reinvest their profits in their businesses, they can help more people and require less outside funding and are more sustainable. The broader impact of employment social enterprises is in the lives transformed as people find not just work, but hope, pride, belonging, and a path to self-sufficiency. When people work, we leverage all the talent available to our country, families and communities are stronger, and so is our society. Pictured here on the screen is just one example of a employment social enterprise employee, Brian, who worked at our uh, one of our social enterprises in Los Angeles called Chrysalis. Brian had left a history of drug use and a life of criminal justice behind and moved to LA um, to be closer to his son. He was ready for a change, but was struggling to land a job and doors kept closing. 
because of his tattoos or his criminal background, Brian was able to find odd, odd jobs to pay the rent, but he was barely able to keep his head above water. That's when he met a street sweeper in the fashion district in Los Angeles, one of Chrysalis' clients, clients working on a transitional job. He told him about the program and he dove headfirst into the program and was very dedicated. With the help of Chrysalis, he secured a job at Curtis Stone's restaurant, Gwen, where he has continued to shine. And this is just one of the many examples of the people who benefit through the employ employment social enterprises and the model. For over 20 years, Reddit has invested in this unique kind of business that employs and supports people who are overcoming great disadvantage and empowering them to get jobs, keep jobs, and build a better life. Employment social enterprises are businesses that sell competitive products and services in the competitive marketplace. Their employees are people who otherwise would not have much hope of finding or keeping a job. The model is unique because the businesses earn revenue and reinvest that money back into their businesses so that they can hire and support more people. This self-sustaining model not only improves lives and strengthens families and communities, but help spending for government programs go further. Rediff helps these businesses increase their effectiveness and scale their impact so that more people have the opportunity to build a stable future and to find work. We all benefit from living in a society where everyone has the opportunity to contribute. So here's typically how the social enterprise model works. Step one is the recruitment. Social enterprises uh, employees recruited and placed in the appropriate enterprise and program. The employees assessed on their hard and soft skills and any past work experience barriers to employment that need to be addressed and career employment goals that they have. The employee begins soft training such as resume building and conflict resolution as they're going through their social enterprise transitional employment. They also receive coaching and, and support services, job development and placement. And even after job placement, many still receive retention services. So who do social enterprises help? <clears throat> Most are low income individuals, but those individuals are also facing many barriers to employment. So, uh, some social enterprises serve opportunity youth age 16 to 24 who are not in school or work. Some social enterprises work with individuals involved with the criminal justice system. Others uh, focus on people who have experienced homelessness. And others focus on individuals who have a health condition such as mood, anxiety, personality, or substance use disorder. So Rediff participated in, in work with Mathematica policy research in 2014 to do a study on economic self-sufficiency and life stability one year after starting a social enterprise job. So what we found was before social enterprise, 25% never had a job, 71% of monthly income came from government benefits, and 85% were unstably housed. One year after the social enterprise model, we found that 33% were more likely to be employed, 268, there was a 268% increase in income, and 53% were in stable housing. In addition to these impressive, in, into the, in the addition to the impressive impact for the people working at the social enterprise, our independent research also revealed that social enterprise delivers a positive return on investment for society. For every dollar social enterprises spend, the, for every dollar social enterprise spend has a return of an, on investment of two dollars and twenty three cents in benefits to society. The revenue generated by social enterprises reduces the amount of money government and philanthropy need to pay for programs. So now that you've learned a little bit about our SNAP ENT program and a little bit more about the employment social enterprise model, what's next? Well, first and foremost, we want you to begin to encourage employment social enterprises, nonprofits, and community stakeholders in your state or county to register for our webinar series. And while our program is really targeted to employment social enterprises, we truly do welcome all nonprofits and community stakeholders who are interested in learning more about SNAP ENT. 
they can go to our website and register for the webinar there. Next, we, we encourage you to share materials with your partners and social enterprises, nonprofit partners, stakeholders in your, in your communities. Um, and that information was shared in the email. We have a two pager that uh, we would love for you to share. Third, uh, I hope that you'll want to learn more about this employment social enterprise model. You can go to rediff.org to learn more. And finally, please feel free to reach out to me, Greg Erickson at gerickson at rediff.org if you have questions or would like to learn more about our program. I'm happy to spend time to either discuss our program or employment social enterprises with you. And looking, for, uh, looking forward to the opportunity to work with all of you and partner with all of you as we all work collectively to expand the SNAP ENT third party model. So again, thank you for taking the time today. I hope you enjoyed the webinar uh, and looking forward to our collaboration and, and future partnership. Thank you so much.